put sell is ordinarily a very good strategy where you get the premium or collect the premium for the stocks that you like and you don't have to own the stock you can just keep collecting the premium and if for some reason you get the stock that you are already going to buy anyway uh, and that's the line of the thinking that uh, uh, those who are already doing a put sell strategy they know about it and they ordinarily make a money but there are few corner cases there are exceptional places few stocks that uh, go that do not go as per your plans and the typical example is the ACB uh, and the, there is a class of stocks that you will always find now and then that they keep falling uh, month after month, quarter after quarter for a very long time and in such cases the put sell option strategy fails and in this video I am going to discuss and then you can learn from my mistake what are the things that you can do. so that you do not get into that trap of this falling stock. Um, the way it, it works against you is that you ordinarily co collect a, a premium for the put sales but if it keeps falling on there could be cases for example there could be a steep fall for a very short duration of time and you will get the, you will be assigned the stock and for some reason like I did I did not sell it at all sold it I did not sell it at a loss that and then others could be doing the same thing and then the stock keeps its falls keep doing that uh, what happens is and then you can again try a put sell here then again you get some uh, shares assigned of course you also in some places in some time that sometimes you do not uh, you only collect the premium and you do not get the stocks assigned but if it happens for a very long time and then you keep working on lick and then if you combine this with the buy at low strategy uh, eventually you end up somewhere here and then you have stocks at averages averaging down your average price is still quite high than its current price so what are the things you could do in to avoid such kind of situation and that's the topic of my uh, this video so the first thing I would like to actually the point number five that you will start with a realistic valuation of any stock and keep in mind the um, things that may not go in favor of that stock. So that uh, the first thing is wow the mistake I made was in the, in the valuation of ECB I took for example calculated it with the Canadian dollar which was actually US dollar that uh, affected the valuation that I thought was good. Uh, you can take into account the 3x sales number or the PYE price to earning ratio number which is not applicable to many companies because most of the companies are not earning anything and then uh, you can also look at their cash flow the debt on that or any cash flow they have and then uh, usually if they have some kind of cash in their hand then it's uh, it acts like a buffer and does not allow the company to fall uh, below a certain point. Uh, the next most important thing is a weekly and the monthly option and the mistake that I made was that I was doing a weekly option and I heard it a lot the hard way. Uh, what you do is that uh, let's say the stock is at 14 and if you do a weekly option then in order to get a reasonable amount of premium your uh, strike price is going to be close to 14 something like maybe 13 or 13.5 or maybe 13 and 12 but if you go monthly then you reduce your return the premium return a little lower because weekly you every week you can collect like a 1% every week and 4 weeks it's like 4% uh, or maybe 48% yearly but if you go monthly it's not 4% a month it's like 3% a month maybe 2% a month but the bigger difference is that you can move the strike price lower instead of $13 you can move it down to $12 so once this st you, the stock gets assigned it's assigned at a much lower price than the current price of 14 so if I do weekly I if, if it, the stock gets assigned it gets assigned as 13 while if it, you are doing monthly it gets assigned at $12 and also you get a higher a premium so your effective price is lower so that's the one thing I started doing more recently I started opting for a monthly premium instead of the weekly premium 
The second lesson that to learn is the diversification and that is related to my other strategy of buying more at lower as the price keeps going down. For example, when the price is 12, I actually, I would go to the point number three first. Once you have that stock assigned at $12, you don't just jump ahead and start, uh, you open uh, another uh, put option for the same stock. What you actually do is, you then do a call sell. So basically when the stock is up to like at 12 or maybe lower than 12, something like running at uh, 11 or 11.5, what you do is you put, you, you do a $12 or $13 covered call sell. You are intending to sell that, uh, the stock that you own at a same or a higher price uh, than you acquired. So that may again be like a month and then a month later you, you learn that the stock is keeps falling, but you at least get to collect the, the premium of that. So that's the second thing. So by the time from here to when it comes to like say $10, it's only like two months. And then when it comes to two months, so when this took, now when it's at $10, the call option is not an option unless you are ready for to, to sell it as a, at a loss, which I don't feel doing, doing it. So um, the, the, the shares acquired at $12 is not $10, or maybe even lower, you cannot do a call sell. So what is the option is, now is the time to do an averaging. And then you do, uh, you average it down by again doing maybe a $9 uh, put sell. And then you continue again with the monthly option and so on and so forth. So, uh, and that's my fourth point was, the next put sell is after it's substantially down, not like a, a little bit of down. So from 14 to 13, you again start averaging down. So you are actually moving, um, if you do like that, you are doing more like a day trader in option 10. It's a lot that quick, but it's still, a, it's a continuously for a continuously falling for a long time stock. And you can see that it's still a, a short term. Uh, the one most important thing is the diversification and there are many, many people including Ray Dalio and other people who have talked about it is that you can actually uh, reduce your risk without reducing your uh, percentage gain. And that you do is by using diversification. So ECB should not be the only thing in your basket. It could be other stock, it could be Intel, it could be Neo, it could be any uh, other put sales options that we can do because you do not know what's going on behind a particular company that you have an emotional attachment for whatsoever reason you have. So the way the diversification work is, uh, let's say I have an ACB and I put all the money in one basket, my uh, 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 loss could be like 40 or 50 percent, but if I had uh, another stock, that stock could have been moving like this in a side way or could be even rising uh, or there could be another one. Um, this is a side way movement or moving up. So all the stocks that are behaving all, uh, somewhat different than this will not give a, a, a losses like this one. And while it still could be having a, a same amount of the percentage return. So this is, uh, if you, that comes with an experience, there's, there's a theory about behind it, there's a data behind it, and there's all sort of data that diversification does help. And there's also a data, a kind of backported data available that says that the monthly options, maybe typically like 30 to 45 days, is better. It does not mean that the weekly options is always bad. In some situations, the weekly options are better. For example, the week, two weeks just before the results announcement, there is a lot of volatility and you can take actually advantage of those volatility to make a gain. But again, that, that volatility could also uh, lead to a larger loss or it could be a larger uh, loss actually uh, because you are doing a put sell. So that's something you need to keep in mind. So I hope uh, this is this is strategy it's, it's the, which I plan for uh, uh, people who are, are already understanding uh, options put, uh, put options. I would like to hear about but I expect that this video is to be watched or um, to be heard only by people who are knowledgeable and I uh, welcome because I feel that they are as have as much knowledge as for me and then and that's for this reason i welcome their comments in this section if you subscribe you can have a similar other videos in future as well thanks for taking a look